What's playing in your mind? Are there some tenets you need to evict? Are there destructive, discouraging thoughts that you need to stop allowing in? That's what my mother had to do. You know her story. She was diagnosed with terminal liver cancer in 1981, given a few weeks to live. She was only 46 years old. She'd been perfectly healthy, always active, working in the yard, pastoring the church with my father, traveling the world. Suddenly, she gets this terrible news. She became so frail. She weighed 89 pounds. Her skin was very yellow. The doctor said there was nothing more they could do. You can imagine the thoughts that came knocking at her door. This is it. Man, you're done. Make plans for your funeral. The middle of the night when she couldn't sleep, the thought came, you can be buried in that new pink dress that you just bought. My mother had good reasons to feel worried, afraid, hopeless, but she understood this principle. When fear knocked, she didn't let it in. When worry knocked, it's over. Quit believing. She said, you're not welcome here. When doubt knocked, you heard the report. They're the best doctors in the world. There's nothing more they can do. She said, no, thanks. There's no room for you in my thinking. She guarded her mind. She was extremely selective of what she allowed in. She knew she was in a fight. She wasn't about to give her valuable real estate, her mind, any room for negative, discouraging, defeating thoughts. When you're in a battle, when forces are coming against you in a great way, that's when you'll be the most tempted to believe the lies. Get discouraged. It's never going to work out. Just accept it. More than ever, you need to close the door. Don't give those lies access. You need all your energy to believe to stay strong, to have faith, to overcome what's trying to stop you. Be diligent. The scripture says, give no place to the enemy. That means don't give him any rooms in your house.